Whoa, what's that over there? It's a time machine that will take us back in time. Let's hop in and see where we go. Wow, it looks like we landed in the jungle. This time machine is very tricky. It doesn't tell me what time we are in. I'm gonna start looking and hopefully we can see something cool. Do you guys see anything cool? Uh oh, oh no, it's a super big dinosaur. I'm scared right now, but let's not run away. I have an idea. Let's learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs live from 245 million years ago to 66 million years ago. That is a super long time. Us humans are only 2 million years old. That means no human has ever seen a dinosaur until I came in this time machine. Sadly, there are no dinosaurs that exist today. The dinosaurs were wiped out due to an asteroid from space hitting Earth. Look at this dinosaur right here. It's a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus stand on four legs and have huge spikes on their back. Their spikes help the Stegosaurus stay warm or cool. Some Stegosauruses are as big as a bus. Even though they are big, Stegosaurus have small brains and were not the smartest animals. Stegosauruses are very friendly dinosaurs, so we don't have to run away. Let's continue until we find another dinosaur. Whoa, look ahead. It's a super tall dinosaur. Wow. Look at how long its neck is. This is a Brachiosaurus. Let's spell it out because it's such a long word. B R A C H I O S A U R U S. Wow, that is a long word. They are some of the tallest dinosaurs to ever live. They ate plants and were tall enough to reach the top of the tree. What a cool dinosaur. Look ahead. It's another dinosaur that has so many horns. This dinosaur is called a Triceratops. Triceratops had big horns on its mouth, nose, and head. They are as big as elephants are today. Like Brachiosauruses, they only ate plants from the jungle floor. Uh-oh, look ahead. All the dinosaurs so far have been friendly, but now it's the king of the jungle, Tyrannosaurus Rex, also called a T-Rex. Ah, oh, we have to run away and hide in the bushes. T-Rexes were the king dinosaurs because they ate many other dinosaurs like the Triceratops. They had super big legs and tails, but super tiny arms. They also had 60 sharp teeth that they used to attack their prey. We have to walk carefully so we don't anger it. T-Rex are super big and way bigger than a human. They have a loud roar like this. Let's sneak away and now goodbye T-Rex. Remember to subscribe and like the video so we can move on to the next dinosaur. There are not only dinosaurs on the ground, but in the sky. This animal right here is a pterodactyl that used to rule the skies. They had big beaks and huge wings. I wish I could go up and see them, but I can't fly and there aren't any airplanes back then, so let's continue exploring the ground. Wow, what's running at us? It's a velociraptor, also called a raptor. They are very scary animals, but not as big as a T-Rex. Look at their feet. They have a claw that is used for when they attack animals. Velociraptors also ate dinosaur eggs. Some of them even had feathers. Quite a cool dinosaur. What's your favorite dinosaur so far? Do you like the scary T-Rex and Velociraptor or the friendly Triceratops and Brachiosaurus? Look at this dinosaur right here. It is called an Ankylosaurus, which has a lot of plates and horns on its back. This dinosaur had a kind of armor all over its body and even its tail. It used its tail to fight off enemies like a T-Rex. Even though they are very scary and strong, they didn't eat other animals and instead ate plants. They weighed 18,000 pounds. Awesome. One of the strongest dinosaurs is called the Spinosaur. It had a big hump on its back that helped keep it warm or cool. It can bite 10 times as hard as a hammer. It has spikes 
all over its neck, back, and tail. They are very big and awesome dinosaurs. Dinosaurs aren't just on land in the air, but also the ocean. Let's take a swim in the ocean and see what dinosaurs there are. Whoa, look at this huge monster in the ocean. This is a plesiosaur. It has a super long neck like the brachiosaurus and flippers. They were like the T-Rex of the ocean and ate fish. Look at how many teeth they have. This is called a fossil, which is the bones of an animal that lived long ago. Look at this plesiosaur fossil. Anyway, I'm done swimming. Let's go back onto land and go to the time machine. I'm back. It's time to go back home. And this trip was so much fun. I saw so many cool dinosaurs and learned so much. Hopefully I can come back one day, but I have to go back to the time machine now. Goodbye, dinosaurs. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Fun Time Show. Goodbye. Oh, I'm late for school. Oh no, I'm late for class. Oh no, sorry, I'm late, teacher. Whoa, Daisy, it's okay this time, but next time, come to class on time. Today we have a super fun lesson. We're gonna learn about space. Whoa, space is so cool. I love learning about the moon and the sun. Wow, Daisy, that's so cool that you like space. If you can get the test correct at the end of our lesson, you can win a toy spaceship. Are you excited? Whoa, look at our solar system. A solar system is the sun and all the planets that go around it. Let's read the names out loud. The big yellow ball over there is the sun. And then it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's learn about every one of these. This is the sun. The sun is a star. The sun is super hot. Without the sun, there would be no daytime or light on Earth. Let's move on to Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury is also the closest planet to the sun. Because Mercury is so close to the sun, it can reach 800 degrees hot in, during daytime. Wow, that is so hot. What a cool planet. Next to Mercury is Venus. You may think Mercury is hot, but Venus is even hotter. Did you know that Venus has 85,000 volcanoes? That is such a big number. Venus also has some of the biggest storms in the solar system. Such an interesting planet. Whoa, look at that planet right there. That planet is our planet Earth. We all live on this planet together. Earth is such a cool planet. It has so many cool things like mountains, forests, oceans, and deserts. Earth is the only planet we have been on, but who knows, one day we could live on a different planet. Let's say goodbye to Earth now and go to the moon. Wow, look, it's the moon. At nighttime, you can see the moon in the sky. The moon is important because it helps control waves in the ocean. The moon can turn different colors sometimes, like blue, yellow, and red. Did you know humans have been on the moon before? In 1969, a rocket traveled to the moon. So cool! The next planet is Mars. Mars is a red planet that has super cool red rocks on its surface. Mars looks super hot, but it's actually super cold. It can reach negative 200 degrees. That is so cold. One day, humans could take a rocket to Mars. That would be the first time we have stepped on another planet. So cool. Next to Mars is the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is so big, it can fit 1,000 Earths. Jupiter is made of gas, and its surface has lots of swirly lines. Jupiter is a very different planet from Earth and has super big storms. Scary. Earth has one moon, but Jupiter has 95 moons. That's a lot. Do you like Jupiter? 
Whoa, look over there. That's Saturn. Saturn is the second biggest planet in our solar system and has a super big ring around it. Saturn's rings are made of rocks and ice floating in space. Like Jupiter, Saturn is made of gas. Saturn is 746 million miles away from Earth, so far away. Whoa, we are almost at the end of the solar system. Look at this planet. This is Uranus. This planet is blue. Uranus is a super cold and windy planet. Sometimes the winds can go as fast as planes. That's so crazy. It is the coldest planet in our solar system. Like Saturn, Uranus also has rings. Whoa, we are at the final planet of the solar system, Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from Earth. It is 2,800,000,000 miles away. What a big number. Neptune is a very stormy planet. Since Neptune is so far away, it takes Neptune 165 years to make a full circle around the sun. That is such a long time. Anyways, that's the end of the solar system. Now let's go back to class and take a test. Wow, that lesson was so much fun. We learned so much about space. Are you ready to take a test now, Daisy? Yay! Now we have to take a test. We have to draw the sun and moon. sun and moon drawing. Isn't it so cool? Now it says to name three planets. Hmm. Mars. Earth. That's the planet we <laughs> drawing. And Venus. Wow, Daisy. You got everything correct. You know what that means? We're going to go to the toy store and get a spaceship. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Whoa, Daisy, we made it to the toy store. Look at all the toys. Whoa, wow. it's the spaceship. Hello, welcome to the toy store. What would you like? Hello, <laughs> we would like to buy that spaceship over there. How much does it cost? The spaceship costs $20. Here you go, sir. Thank you I'm, so much. I'm going to take the spaceship now. Thank you so much. Hooray! Look how big this spaceship is. Wow! I had so much fun learning about space. Make sure to subscribe to Funtime Show. Goodbye. Hello, guys. We are going to go on a trip to see so many types of animals today. Welcome aboard, and let's start our journey. We are first going to the jungle to see all sorts of jungle animals. Whoa, look over there. That's a monkey. It looks like it's eating something. Monkeys love to eat yellow bananas. Monkeys live in trees and are super good climbers. There are all sorts of types of monkeys like this big gorilla and this orange orangutan. Monkeys are so fun. Whoa, look over there. There's another animal in the jungle. It looks like a bird and has a super big, colorful beak. This is a toucan. Toucans have big beaks so they can eat food on the jungle floor. Toucans' beaks come in many different colors. Look at this toucan. It has green, orange, and red on its beak, and its face is yellow. Such a cool animal. Look over there. It's a huge group of pink flamingos. Flamingos live next to water and they can swim really well. Flamingos turn orange and pink because the food that they eat turns their feathers pink. Such an awesome animal. We had so much fun in the jungle, but now we are going to take a trip to the safari. Some of the coolest animals live in the safari. Hopefully we can see some. What is behind those bushes up ahead? That animal is so tall. That animal is called a giraffe and it is the tallest animal in the world. 
Look at how tall its neck is. The reason giraffes are so tall is because it allows them to reach high leaves on the trees. Giraffes are called herbivores, that means that they only eat plants. Look at this funny giraffe. Speaking of huge animals, there's another super big animal in front of us. This is an elephant, and they are very interesting animals. Elephants have long trunks where they can drink water from. Their trunks are a big nose that they can use to breathe and smell. Look at this group of elephants. These elephants are playing in the water. This one is splashing so much. So funny. Oh no, look ahead. There are lions sitting on that rock. Lions are the king of the jungle. They are very strong animals and they have super sharp teeth. Look at this lion's mane. These are baby lions called cubs. Look at them having fun playing. And these lions are the mom lions. The dads have manes and the moms don't have manes. Look ahead guys, it's a group of zebras. Zebras have black and white stripes on their bodies. They run around the safari and are herbivores, like giraffes that eat grass. Look at this zebra having so much fun. The safari was so cool, but now we are going to take a submarine to explore the ocean. Hopefully we can find some cool ocean animals. Check it out! It's a group of dolphins swimming together. Dolphins are one of the smartest animals in the world. Look at them playing with that red ball. Dolphins are super fast swimmers also. Look at them in the water. There are even black dolphins called orcas. What a cool animal. Guys, we have to be careful. It looks like there is a shark up ahead. Sharks look scary, but they actually don't attack humans. Sharks like to eat fish and they have fins on their bodies. If you want to see a shark, you can go to an aquarium, which is a place where they have fish and other animals from the ocean. Such a cool animal. Do you know the biggest animal in the whole world? The biggest animal in the whole world is a whale. Look at how big this whale is compared to a human. Look at these whales in the ocean. This whale takes its fin out the water. This is what a whale's face and body looks like. Amazing! The ocean is so much fun, but now we're going to go to the forest to find even more cool animals. Hopefully we find some cool animals. Look at this animal. This is a bear. Bears are super big and scary. If you go camping, you may see a bear walking through the forest. Bears love to eat fish and they know how to swim. These bears are fighting. There are many types of bears, like polar bears and panda bears. Oh no, be careful. There's a super big tiger up ahead. Tigers have orange and black stripes. Did you know that tigers are related to cats? There are white tigers like this one also. What a cool animal. Guys, look ahead. It looks like we stumbled on a farm. Let's go see all the farm animals now. Look ahead. It's a cow. Cows are really cool farm animals and very useful to us. We use cows for milk and for beef. Cow's milk is used for many things like chocolates and cake. Cows love to eat grass. Look at this baby cow called a cat. Cows come in many colors like black, white, and brown. Do you know what bird this is? This is a chicken. Chickens are used for eggs and their meat. Look at all the chickens here. Chickens are very silly animals and they move their head funnily. Look at these chickens eating seeds on the floor. Awesome! Whoa, look what's walking towards us. It's a horse. Horses are awesome animals. Before cars and planes, people took horses to travel. People used to take horses for thousands of miles. Look at people riding this horse in the city. Horses like to eat grass just like cows. Do you want to ride a horse one day? This trip was so much fun. That's the end of our trip. We learned so much about animals. What is your favorite animal? I think my favorite animal was the dolphin. Where do you think the coolest animals are? Are they in the jungle, the safari, the ocean, 
the forest, or the farm. Either way, animals are really cool. If you want to see animals from all over the world, you can go to a zoo. A zoo is a place where they have all the animals. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Funtime Show. Goodbye. Are you ready to learn about vehicles all around the world? This vehicle is called a car. Have you ever been in a car before? Cars come in all shapes and sizes. There are super big trucks and super little cars. Cars drive on the road and many people around the world use cars. Cars move on wheels. The car needs gas, which is like the car's food. There are many types of cars. Look at this police car. Police car is used by police to catch bad guys and they get put in the back. Look at this fire truck. Fire trucks have all the equipment that firemen need to put out fires. Hooray! This is an ambulance. Ambulance help take people who get hurt to the hospital. They are very important. Wow, look at these race cars. Race cars go super fast. They're trying to be in first place. Cars are so cool. Whoa, look over there. It's a boat. Boats are used to transport people on the ocean. There are many reasons to use boats. They are very helpful to move on the water. Look at these people on a small fishing boat. And look at this super big cargo ship. Cargo ships carry a lot of stuff across the world. This boat looks so fancy. This is a cruise ship. Cruise ships have many beds and you can sleep on them. They also have a lot of fun activities like water slides and food. Boats are so cool in many ways. If you want to go to the ocean, boats are the best way. Do you want to own a boat one day? Do you know what this vehicle is called? This is an airplane. Airplanes are used to take people all across the world in the sky. They have wings and a tail in the back. Do you think that airplanes are cool? Watch this plane take off. This is how planes get in the sky. So cool. If you want to ride on an airplane, you need to go to a place called an airport. The airport is where the planes live. Ask your parents where the closest airport is. This is the view outside of an airplane. Look at the airplane wings. It is so high in the sky that it's, ab that it's above the clouds. Have you ever been on an airplane before? Look at these airplanes that are doing tricks in the air. Amazing! Do you know what vehicle this is? This is a tractor. Tractors are used on farms. This tractor is green. Tractors have super big wheels. Look at how big the tractor wheels are. Look at this tractor cutting grass on the farm. Tractors have many jobs on the farm. They clear land and other things. This tractor is tilling the dirt, which means that the tractor is breaking the dirt. This tractor has orange wheels. Look how big this tractor is. This tractor is harvesting the crops. Whoa, look at this train. This train is called a locomotive. That means it runs on steam. Trains move on train tracks. Have you ever been on a train before? Look at this train. This is an electric train that's inside the city. So cool. Look at this train that is by the ocean. Train drivers are called conductors. This is what it looks like to drive a train. Look at how fast it goes. These trains are carrying stuff on them. Trains are so much fun. Look at this motorcycle. Motorcycles have two wheels and go super fast. Motorcycles can go as fast as cars. Motorcycles and cars both drive on the road. When you ride a motorcycle, make sure to wear a helmet. 
Look at these guys riding a motorcycle through the city. Do you want to ride a motorcycle when you grow up? This is what it looks like to ride a motorcycle. So fast! Everyone loves riding motorcycles. People ride motorcycles in the city, and some even ride motorcycles in the forest. Wow! Look at these construction vehicles that are helping to clean trash. There are many different types of vehicles. Look at these construction vehicles. These vehicles help on construction sites to help make buildings. Yay! Do you want to be a construction worker? Wow, look at this construction vehicle. This vehicle has a claw. It's trying to pick up the rock. Amazing! This construction vehicle is called a digger. The, this digger is picking up dirt from the ground with its super big shovel. Have you ever seen this before? This is a hot air balloon. They are super big. Hot air balloons allow you to go up and down in the sky. In hot air balloons, you sit in a basket at the bottom and enjoy the view outside. Look at these mountains outside. Everyone loves hot air balloons. Hot air balloons work because of fire. When the fire is on, you go up. When the fire is off, you go down. Look at the fire on this balloon. Do you want to go on a hot air balloon ride? Ask your parents. Hot air balloons are a very fun vehicle to ride. But we need to learn about more vehicles, so goodbye hot air balloons. Look at this vehicle. Do you know what it's called? This is a helicopter. Helicopters are small airplanes that can go super high in the air, super fast. Look at this helicopter spinning blades at the top. That allows for the helicopter to fly. Look at this helicopter going in the air. The blade spins so fast that it's blowing leaves off the tree. This helicopter is an ambulance helicopter that takes people who get hurt to the hospital by flying them over there. This is what it looks like outside of a helicopter. Look at the blade spinning at the top so fast. Look at the view of the city outside. Helicopters are faster than cars. Look at this helicopter racing a car. So fast. Helicopters can take you to the mountains because they fly so high in the air. Look at those huge mountains. People use helicopters in the mountains because there are no roads in the mountains. Helicopters are so much fun. Do you know this vehicle? This is a bicycle. Bicycles are small vehicles, but they are still so much fun. People ride bikes everywhere. Look at these guys riding bikes by the ocean. Yay! The bike goes forward because of the pedals. When you push the pedal, it moves the wheel also. This is what it looks like to ride a bike. Look how he's pushing the pedals. Look at these guys riding bikes in the forest. Many kids ride bikes also. Have you ever ridden a bike before? If you want to learn to ride a bike, ask your parents. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learn new things about vehicles. Make sure to subscribe to Funtime Show.